in collaboration with Max Roll, I present The Falconeer. The Falconeer is the final mastery coming to the last epoch, making its way to Aterra on February 21st for the launch of the game. This subclass focuses on your feathery friend, who is the main driving force behind your skills as a rogue. If you enjoy raining death from above, besting your enemies with a sword, bow, or talon, and swiftly maneuvering the battlefield, the Falconer brings a completely new twist to minion gameplay. In this video, we're going to show off the new skills and show off cool interactions from the Falconer. Then we're going to talk a little bit about the different archetypes that the Falconer offers, followed by showing off some builds that will have guides ready for launch. You might also notice some graphical improvements in this video, because there's a lot of upgrades for launch. Let's have a quick look at the skills you unlock exclusively as a Falconer. We'll be going over these and their respective skill trees, but if you want a deep dive and more to chew on, head on over to Max Roll linked below to find out more. Keep in mind, these skills will unlock as you level. Your character automatically learns them after reaching certain thresholds in the Falconer passive tree. These skill showcases were provided by different Max Roll creators. You can find their Twitch channel on the screen during each skill showcase. I have not seen the Falconer at all, so this is also going to be my first look and my first impression to everything here. First, we're going to look at Falconry, the skill that actually enables the Falcon. Bina, take it away. Alright, so this is the Falcon from the Falconry skill. As you can see, as you walk by you, he just passively auto attacks everything. He is a minion and he is invulnerable to any attacks. So you don't have to worry about his survivability or anything like this. He also has access to an active skill, which you can see him dashing his way here through the enemies and killing everything in its path. This is obviously on a cooldown, so you won't be able to spam it, but there are ways to reduce its cooldown and being able to spam it even more. So basically this is your Falcon friend, which is the main fantasy around the Falconeer. To be able to use other skills, you also have to have the Falcon on your hotbar, as we'll see a little bit later, but this is the base ability of the Falcon. So, Bina, are there any cool interactions that changes the skill a lot? Yes, so your Falcon can actually use Acid Flask. So if you go to the left side of the tree here, you can actually see that there's Toxic Airdrop, and your Falcon now throws Acid Flask for you. Obviously, this consumes your um, a portion of your mana cost for Acid Flask. You can max this out so you can throw even more. And then you can even grant him a chance to gain charges when you use Acid Flask. So finally, guys, an Acid Flask buff and your Falcon has the chance to use it. <laughs> Next up, we're going to look at Aerial Assault with McFluffin. Hey, thanks, Diz. So Aerial Assault is a new movement ability. And one of the really cool things about it is it's not like it's not your character moving. It's actually your Falcon moving you. So as you go throughout the world and you use Aerial Assault, it'll actually pick you up and throw you in front of where you were. And it can actually throw you quite a long ways. And at the end of it, it will actually do a feather burst attack. So it'll do damage to enemies that are in front of you at the very end of the flight that you take, thanks to the bird. And is there any like big things that we can change on this skill to make it uh, have a different interaction? Absolutely. So I am a huge fan of uh, Shadow Daggers, and I, I play that probably more than anything else. And this actually gives us a new way to play a Shadow Dagger build. So if we go up here and we take Twilight Strike, we actually get access to Umbral Blades, which has the ability to throw out blades um, at the same time when the feathers are being thrown out. But those can apply Shadow Daggers. On top of that, Aerial Assault itself has a node that allows additional Shadow Daggers to be thrown out for even more damage. So this gives us a way to play another Shadow Dagger build that's now using the Falcon instead of the typical Blade Dancer. And it does a ton of damage. And you can see all the explosions going off here. And you can build Umbral Blades in different ways to make it spinning blades in front of it. And just allows for a ton of customization, even in that small little bit of the skill tree. Next up, we're going to do Dive Bomb with Boardman. Yeah, thanks, Ziz. Dive Bomb is the last skill that you get access to as the Falconer, and with it, it does a powerful AoE that does a single hit in a big area, allowing you to do great single target as well as clear out huge hordes of mobs that you can round up. One of the sweet things that you can get to do with the Falcon is it has great damage effectiveness, and you can also boost its damage by stacking a lot of your primary stat and by using bow attacks. 
So how does this skill work? Do you target a location and it slams that location? Yep. All you have to do is point your mouse where you want it to go, call it down, and it will fly from the sky, doing its huge damage in a big area. Do you know what's the lowest you can get the cooldown to? So the cooldown has a couple of interactions with other skills that actually replenish uh, its cooldown and gives you cooldown recovery every time that you use like traps, for instance, and they explode. You can take off 4% of the remaining cooldown, so you can actually make it uh, be reused really, really fast. Wow. And is there any nodes on the skill tree we can take that changes this skill drastically as well? Oh yes, it has a couple of synergies with other skills. For instance, if you go inside the skill tree, you can make it to, you can target over here on the right side, the decoy. And when you hit the decoy, you can make the decoy explode instantly when the Falcon blasts. So you actually have decoy, you can throw it out. Decoy will then call in all the enemies to target it. And then you can make it explode as soon as the enemies are close by with the dive bomb. And next up, we're going to see Explosive Drop by Vulcan, because the Falconer actually has individual skills that don't rely on the Falcon as well. This is actually the first skill you can get uh, by speaking into Falconer tree. So you only need five points on the Falconer tree to get this skill. Uh, it's a, like a classic Trapper, trapper play style. Um, you can actually do any, any of the elements uh, uh, as a damage type with this. So you can do Fire, Cold or, or Lightning or even, even all of those at once. So really cool, like a classic Trapper, trapper play style. So is that why the traps have different colors? Yeah, exactly. So I have actually converted converted this all of the elements at once. So cold, fire and lightning. And uh, that's actually the way you can maximize the amount of traps you have uh, at once, pretty much. So basically maximizing the DPS. Is there any way to make this skill interact with the Falcon? Uh, yeah, so it can actually give pretty massive amount of uh, amount of buffs on the Falcon itself. So basically you throw traps and when they detonate, you get buffs on the on the Falcon. So are there any big changes you can do in the skill to make the skill behave differently? Yeah, so you can actually make this skill a bow skill with the, with the blast train node here. So oh. you spec the bow, bow skill here and then you can also get uh, detonating arrow procs on, on the skill. So you're going to be like a fully fully bow playstyle if you do this. Wow. Yeah, so you, you have like massive range, massive AOE. Uh, you have procs going like everywhere. Amazing playstyle, at least in my opinion. Definitely the most fun I've had in... in, uh, in Am I playing this? Skill. Wow. You can you can also do this without converting it to bow, but I mean, uh, the bow just makes it so, so, so good, you know? That's a like explosive iron crack. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I was going to start squirrel, but now I'm not 100% sure anymore. Holy. And the falconer also has utility skills. So next up, we're going to show up the net ability with Tarek. Yeah, so net is going to be a very powerful supporting skill in order to control monsters. It basically immobilizes regular enemies and is going to also reduce the movement speed of uh, rares and bosses. And as you can see, it also makes uh, your character leap backward whenever you use it. Are there any different ways we can make this skill completely different? There is one particular way that is very interesting at the bottom of the tree here. Basically, you're going to convert the net into a trap and from that trap is going to use puncture. Interesting part about it is that you can actually use uh, bow attacks with it. So it's actually like a range playstyle. So are those caltrops that are falling down from the net? This is also another part of the skill tree. Whenever you use a uh, net, it's going to throw caltrops where you use the, the ability. And it's also going to use uh, caltrops where you aim that. So it's kind of like um, leaving behind dot on the ground. So now it's basically a clearing ability. As we've just learned, the Falconer offers loads of different playstyles. You don't have to just be a minion build, and you have loads of exclusive skills that you can't use otherwise, and cool interactions with other things. Next up, we're going to look at a build from Boardman, and this is something that will have a max roll guide, and we'll have a separate video for this before launch, so make sure you check that out as well. Boardman, tell us a little bit about the build. Oh yeah, absolutely, Sis. This build's going to be using a lot of the Falconer abilities. We're going to have Aerial Assault, we're going to have Dive Bomb, we're going to have Smoke Bomb to buff us with our defense. Falcon Strikes, and then we'll be throwing some Trap. Every time that we use Aerial Assault, we'll leap forward. Our Falcon will have a nice Feather Storm that he puts out there. We'll have Dive Bomb to come down and absolutely destroy enemies for single target in a short area. And then when you really need, you can have Falcon Strikes go off, which is going to allow us to just have a bunch of attacks on a whole bunch of enemies in a small area. And then whenever you need to buff your Falcon, we can throw out Traps. And every time a trap explodes, it's going to give penetration for our Falcon, allowing his damage to scale and get absolutely ridiculous. 
Due to Dive Bomb having really great damage, a lot of added damage effectiveness and scalers with it, single target is just as good as clearing, so you can go super fast if you just want to speed run echoes or if you want to take out bosses. What's the tank on this build like? It's very tanky. You even get to leech a portion of the damage that the Falcon is doing, and because it does so much damage, you can pretty much always count on a ton of leech coming in to keep you alive. So Volka, show us more of the crazy bow build. Yeah, so we're using Explosive Trap as the main uh, skill here. So proking tons of detonating arrows and uh, icicles from the Reign of Winter Bow. Otherwise, it's a classic bow playstyle, so you know, using shift for movement and uh, smoke bomb and uh, some of these utility skills like shurikens for, uh, for uh, tankiness. For full clarity, the build we're showing here is actually a marksman. This specs into the Falconer tree to gain access to its skills and passive perks. Overall, really like strong DPS build. It's it's really squishy though, so you need to be basically just killing enemies before they kill you. Basically, no defense. You don't really need any defense with this build, to be honest, because as you can see, the gameplay is just well, kind of <laughs> kind of absurd with the AOE and range. Maybe you could, of course, build some tankiness, but that's kind of the thing with marksman. It, it doesn't really have much options for like huge tankiness. You can, you can get glancing blow and armor, but yeah, of course HP. But you know, there's not that many options. So can you walk me through all the skills you're using in the build and what they do? Yeah, so Explosive Trap uh, as a main skill, then that's going to proc the Detonating Arrow. Uh, so we actually don't need to really use Detonating, detonating Arrow uh, manually. So sometimes you need to use it for mana, basically just gaining mana on hit. And uh, then Shift for movement and uh, Smoke Bomb for basically just some, some tankiness, some uh, Crimson Shroud stacks, Glancing Blow. And uh, then, then Decoy, you can use Decoy for um, basically taunting enemies. And I guess this build just has single target and farming. Like, it's, it's got it all except tank. Yeah, exactly. It has everything except tank. As, as you can see, let's uh, pop this here. Uh, these, these enemies are usually pretty tanky. They basically die instantly. So that marks the end of the Falconer showcase that we're bringing you here today. Make sure you go to Max Roll as well for a detailed breakdown. All in all, the class looks extremely promising, and it's certainly a very unique way to approach the Summoner and Combat Heavy Hybrid class that we've never really seen in an ARPG before in this way. And a huge thank you to all the Maxwell creators that helped show me this and, and make this an amazing video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it. The Falconer comes out February 21st with the full release of Last Epoch. Hope to see you on Atara, and a big thank you to 11 Hour Games for making an amazing video game and letting us show off the Falconer. And as always, try to die less than I do.